Hello everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm going to show you around the Timber Ridge 26 KVS. Now this is in the Mountain Series with Outdoors RV, and if you're not familiar with Outdoors RV, uh, they are famous for building a really rugged trailer that is four season and has plenty of standard features. This trailer is 31 feet long, the weight is about 7,300 pounds, and uh, you're going to probably pay somewhere in the $45,000 range for this trailer. Um, it's really popular and the reason is the living room has three large windows so you get a beautiful view of the outdoors. It has recliners, a large dinette, and a nice rear kitchen. So let's go take a look at the details. Walking in the rear door of this trailer, you enter the living room and it is so open. We have all these windows and look at this huge picture window on the rear wall, plus two windows on the side. Ventilation on those windows all the way around. I just love that. It really makes this feel so nice. Now this deluxe Max Air fan vent is an option. There's three of them in this trailer, and I'll point them out as we go along because there really are not very many options in this trailer. The thing I like about this particular fan, it has the cover built in. So if it happens to rain, that cover is keeping that rain out and you can still have it open. And this is an exhaust fan, so it's gonna pull all of the smell and the air out of the kitchen while you're cooking. Um, underneath the countertop here is the microwave. And below that is your first storage bin. Now this is really a lot of space under here. So you may not wanna use it for kitchen, but you certainly can. You'll notice one of the reasons they make this space so open is you don't have upper cabinets going around the top. So you have to kind of think of how to arrange what's underneath, but there's plenty of storage in this living area, I think. Uh, great countertop here. A little bit of storage right here in the corner between the windows. Three levels right there. Let's talk about this cutout. On this countertop, there is a circle cutout and it drops right down into a cupboard that's accessible from the outside. So you could put a trash can under there, drop your trash right down in there, and then open the hatch on the outside when you wanna take the trash out. All right. Let's see, I think I put that on, yep. So there you go, when that's actually in place, you've got full countertop here. The stove and oven is right in the middle. The glass top here, of course, can be used as countertop as well if you're not using the stove. And on the back, you've got some slots for knives. That's always a nice feature. 22 inch oven, looky there. Feels very residential. All right, underneath, more storage. This is a very nice drawer. It is about six, seven inches deep. Great for pots and pans or anything else that you'd be using in this kitchen. And on the other side, this is where the sink is. Again, they have nice inserts here, so this can simply be counter space. If you need workspace and you don't need the sink at that moment, I love the residential style faucet. It's got the pull out on it. Let's open this up to the aluminum farmhouse sink. Just gorgeous. Looky there. And it does come with this nice grate in the bottom. I love that for drying dishes, putting pans in there, all kinds of great things you can do. Um, 
And I want to point out as well, while I'm standing here, there is more ventilation on the corners of this picture window and in the bottom of the side windows. You could really get some nice breeze coming through here by using that Max Air vent right above me. More storage right under here, two shelves, and on the other side, not quite as much storage underneath, just that top shelf. It is corner storage, so I always find that a little awkward to get things in and out of. So I wouldn't put anything in there that I needed very often because it's going to be a bit of a difficult space, but still very usable. You'll notice there's some finger poles on the two panels underneath. That's where you access the hose to winterize. Those just pull off and you can access behind them, making it really easy to winterize. Drawers here, four drawers. You know, that is such an efficient way to pack. The top one comes with a silverware holder right here. Always convenient. And directly under that, you've got more open drawers. Now these bottom true drawers are a little bit deeper. They're maybe six or seven inches deep. The top one is only three or four. The bottom two deeper drawers, you know, just give you all the use of that space. Okay, coming around to the slide out. Over here, nice size refrigerator. Take a look. You've got an eight cubic foot refrigerator right here. Let's open the freezer for you. Now what they have included here is this nice paneled look on the outside. I love the wood panels, kind of a straight shaker style. Just makes it very clean. You don't have a refrigerator glaring at you when you're in the living area. Let's take a look at this dinette. They make it so open here. They are known for having a really large table and sturdy. This is a double pole table, so it's not gonna move, not gonna be jittery at all. And this dinette is huge. Easy for four people to sit out. If you need two workspaces, not a problem to set up two computers. Nobody's gonna be crowded. If you wanted to feed four adults, still very easy to do. And great sleeping space, because this is gonna sleep two adults without a problem. Picture window again. I just love it. You do have venting on one side of it. It isn't a full screen, so it doesn't obstruct your view. The top of this is all a solid picture window. Now, these trailers are made for four season camping. These are all thermal paned windows and they have pull down blackout shades right here. So you've got all the features of blacking out and having beautiful open windows and staying nice and toasty in the winter all at the same time. Okay, let's keep going. There is some storage underneath this dinette. Let's take a look. Nice drawer, it's gonna be about eight inches deep and the full length of this, almost the full length. Uh, great storage on both sides here. Now the entertainment center over here is really set off by the 40 inch 12 volt television. So you do not need to plug in at the campsite to make this TV work. It's a thin design Jensen, runs off the battery, just gorgeous. Now it also has a swing arm on it. So you can pull it out and angle it towards the two chairs or angle it towards the dinette. Although right where it is, you can see it from both places, but you do have that option. Let's look down. You've got the stereo right down here. It has the CD DVD player. It's going to have an HDMI input on it, AM FM stereo, Bluetooth, all the things that you want in a stereo in your trailer. More storage right underneath. Two shelves right there, as well as a small one right there on the end underneath the stereo. Don't want to waste any space in a trailer. Now let's move to the other side because that's where more storage and these beautiful recliners are. 
Love this space. More storage up here. Now this is 12 inches deep right here. And you've got top cabinet and then four cubbies right here. All kinds of space. More storage above it. Right here, let's take a peek. You've got separate cabinets. Space right here. This is its own space. And then another double door cabinet on this side. I like that they've put lights right underneath. So if you're sitting in one of the chairs and you're reading, you've got some great reading lights, big window behind you, and really, really comfortable chairs. I just don't know how to explain to you how comfortable these are. They're plush. The leatherette is very soft. They're so comfortable and they have a footrest. This clicks right back in and you can see they rock and they swivel. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? So these two chairs just make this a very comfortable space. So in the center of this living area is the air conditioner. Now that is not an option. The 13.5 air conditioner is what comes with this. Every trailer that we order here at Princess Craft, we ask for a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. There are other dealers who do that too, but I like to point that out so that you can be sure and double check if you're looking for an outdoors RV. This is the 15,000 BTU air conditioner, so it's going to cool really great in super hot weather because four season is good to have whether it's super hot or super cold. It is ducted and you've got great LED lights throughout this ceiling. Feels very light in here. That's always nice. On this side, you have a dual pane skylight with its own shade. So of course you can black out that as well. Before we go any further, let's go back to the entrance and show you the control panels. A lot of the switches and controls are right here at the end of the upper cabinet, right above the recliners. This top switch is an electric heater for the fresh water tank. Now, these tanks are going to be heated and enclosed, and so when you're running your furnace, they are absolutely warm, toasty, and not going to have a problem freezing. However, if you're driving, then you want to be sure your fresh tank doesn't freeze. You can turn this switch on and that electric heater will keep it from freezing. That is an option, so be sure to look for that if that's an interesting feature for you. Down below, the switch for the awning. There is a 20-foot awning on the outside, the slide-out room, which has the dinette and the refrigerator in it, and then these two switches are going to be for lights. One is the courtesy light for the interior lights right here in the living room. The other one will be outside porch light. The monitor panel is right here on the end and it's going to have your water pump, the water heater that is gas, and the water heater that's electric. This trailer has a 10 gallon water heater, of course, that can run gas or electric. Switches are right here um, and above the monitor panel to show you uh, how full your battery is and how full your tanks are. So this trailer has 80 gallons of fresh water it has two gray tanks, each are 40 gallons, so you've got 80 gallons of gray and 40 gallons of black. Plenty of tank space for much longer than a weekend. All right, uh, let's move into the bathroom and take a look. Now the bathroom in the 26 KVS is surprisingly spacious. Take a look at this counter space right here. I love the fact that they have got a lot of counter space storage right here in the corner with three tiers. Now the sink isn't the largest in the world, but it certainly works. It is going to be a 10 inch sink, but it's always a trade. Do you want a big bathroom sink and less counter space? I don't know. Works for me. 120 plug right here along with the controls for another deluxe Max Air vent fan and switch here for the light and another water pump switch right here in the bathroom. Now you notice there is one at an entry to the door. 
right there near the kitchen where you might need to turn the water pump on. Another one here in the bathroom. I think that's so smart. Let's look at storage underneath. Very big cabinet right here. Look at that. And really plenty of room to walk in here. This corner style sink is just brilliant. Another small space right here. It's only about 10, 12 inches deep right there, but you know, plenty of things could be stored there. You do have a window in the bathroom that can open, but between that, cracking that window and using your uh, exhaust fan on the roof, you could get a nice breeze coming through here. They did put hooks on the wall right across from me. There is two above the toilet here and then one on the edge. So hand towels, bath towels, perfect. Now, before I turn around and show you the other side, there is a pocket door right here. In case you wanted to know about that, the door doesn't ever get in your way. It slides right inside this wall and closes the space. So I really like that. The corner here has a porcelain toilet, you know, gives it a lot of class, much sturdier, and so easy to clean. Few little cubbies right here in the edge, three stacked on top of each other. I really like the fact that they didn't try to put a door on here. It makes them very accessible for maybe rolling up and stacking towels, or um, maybe even things that you might need in the bathroom could store there for easy accessibility. Now, what we haven't talked about is the height in here. It is six foot, 11 inches tall in this trailer. So you've got plenty of height. And in the bathroom with this magnetic door that opens and closes, so you don't have a curtain to worry about, um, you've got a really spacious shower and it's six foot eight inside. Love the space there. It, the curtain kind of curves out at the top. So plenty of elbow room once you get inside. Has that magnetic catch when you close it. This really is such an efficient bathroom. I'm really impressed with it. Let's head into the bedroom area and I'll show you that. This trailer has a nice walk around bed with great storage across the top. You know, when it's six foot 11 inches tall in the center, it is a crowned roof. Uh, great for uh, snow, for rain, um, but also really great for the height. Then you can put cabinets above the bed right here and not make it feel claustrophobic. So these cabinets run all the way across here between here and the, the overhead over there. There isn't a panel in between, so you've got a lot of great space. If you were to add solar panels, your solar panel controller would be right in the center here. Hanging space on both sides. And this is a large hanging space closet for next to the bed. Very impressed with that. Um, you could always put shelves in here, but it does have the hanging uh, rod on the top and really spacious uh, side tables here. A lot of space beside the bed and you have plugs at the back. You've got USB plugs and you've got 120 household plugs. Plug in whatever you want. Each side of the bed matches. And the one thing that I can't show you very easily um, is going to be the pull-out drawer right underneath the bed here. Again, that is on both sides. You have a drawer that pulls to the side. Easy access there. This is a 60 by 80 queen bed. So the same size as a queen in your house. Easy to get sheets. Plenty of space for sleeping. You've got two separate lights. Uh, for reading. And right above here is a, a deluxe air vent, just like the others that we've seen. This is the Max Air Vent fan. And right now it has uh, a pillow in it is what we call it. Let me see if I can pull that out and show you. It is actually a thermal covering in case you wanted to keep the heat and the cold out, but it's also great for just covering it for any light coming in. Now, this one is a little bit different than the other two because it has a remote control. So right here next to the bed is a remote control for this fan. 
because you might want to turn it up or down once you go to bed. You know, wake up in the middle of the night and it's a little cold or you want to open it or close it. All can be done with a remote control. Also, the one that they put in the bedroom is reversible. So you may want to bring cooler air in or warmer air in, or you may want to just use it as an exhaust fan. This one goes either way. Love that. Now, this trailer does have an entrance to the bedroom right here. So if you want to just go in and out from the bedroom and the bathroom and not traipse through the living room, easy to do. Two doors in this trailer, I think, just give it a lot more versatility. All right, there is some storage under the bed. Let's take a look. There you go. This is fully finished out under here so that you actually can lay out your clothes, use bins, whatever works for you. Easy access for anything that you store right under the bed. The gas props hold it up so simple. And just give it a little bit of a push. It goes right back down. Across from the door in the bedroom is where you would put a second TV if you wanted it because they've got all the connections set up right up here and, of course, a smoke alarm right there to keep you safe. Remember, this is going to be ducted air conditioning. You have vents up above the bed, going to keep it super cool in here. Floor vents throughout the trailer because you've got 35,000 BTU furnace. Amazing. Now, on the outside, I'll tell you about all of the nice four season features. So let's go out there and get started. Ah, very sturdy aluminum steps. And before we go any further, I want to tell you about the four season structure of this trailer. Two inch bonded aluminum walls all the way around. This is a crowned roof. They've got a triple layer insulation up there and it's a full walk on roof. Going to keep you nice and toasty very strong thermal pane windows that we've talked about, a 35,000 BTU furnace, and heated and enclosed tanks underneath. This is ready for cold weather. You'll even get a cold weather package on the refrigerator, so it's going to work all the way down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. Those are some of the four season features that you will find in Outdoors RV. Now let's talk about the suspension. This rugged design features the KYB shock absorbers, the off-road X4 suspension, and the Molride CRE 3000 with the heavy-duty shackle kit. These tires are 16-inch Endurance by Goodyear. Now, standard on this trailer is going to be the 15-inch. However, we request here at Princess Craft to upgrade to the 16-inch, so another thing that you can check on the trailer when you look at it at your dealers. Love to have the larger tire if we can. The aluminum wheels are standard. Just a great design for going off-road any place that you want to go. 20-foot awning right above me. Remember the switches are right inside this door. And outdoor speakers. Entrance here with another nice three-step aluminum entry. Now, Outdoors RV uses the fat tube ladder rack on the back. Nice heavy duty ladder for getting up on that ground roof. Powder coated four inch bumper. Spare tire on the back, of course. And let's take a look right here. Remember, that is the space for the trash in the kitchen. Just, you can reach right up there, put, grab your trash can from the kitchen and dump it outside. Now, all of the compartment doors on this trailer are going to be a one inch insulated door and they're going to have the nice baggage latch on it. So easy to open and very easy to just simply slam shut. Right underneath in the center is a two inch receiver, just like you'd have on your car, and it's going to hold up to 250 pounds. You do have magnetic catch holding this open for your outdoor shower. Now, why is it behind this door? Simple, it won't freeze. To make it a more usable four season camper, you do not have to worry about this. When you're camping, it's gonna stay nice and toasty, just like the rest of everything inside your trailer. Water hookup right here for your city water fill. 
and 10 gallon DSI water heater. It's going to be gas and electric. All right. Another thing to mention is there is not a backup camera on this. However, that is something that you can ask for uh, with Outdoors RV. Now on this side, if you look right under here, this is going to be where your sewer hookups are. Got your connection right here for the rear gray tank. Right above on the frame is going to be the pole for the rear gray tank. This trailer has two gray tanks, one in the rear, one in the front. This is the one for the kitchen. And of course you can get a good look at the PSX2 uh, powered stabilizer jacks. We'll take a look at that right up front on how those work. In front of the slide is where we will find the rest of the sewer connections. Uh, this is the vent for the refrigerator. You'll see a small vent up at the top. And right up here is where you'll find most of your connections. 30 amp cord right here for your shore power. Just above that, you have connections for cable and for satellite right here. Black tank flush, just to the left of that. The black tank in this trailer is 40 gallons. And right here, you have covers set up so that you can go right through here for the poles. Underneath is the sewer connection right here. There is a black on the right and a gray on the left. Very easy to get to right there. These just have a latch that swivels over to close it. Now you've got a second 40 gallon gray tank here and then your black tank that's 40 gallons. All dumps right here. The pass-through storage on the front is right here. Same insulated door and the magnetic catch at the top. Now this is the power cord that actually comes with the trailer. And the diamond plate rubber floor just makes it really easy to clean. Maybe keeps things from sliding just a bit. And you do have a light switch on both sides. All right, let's take a look at the front of the trailer. The fiberglass front cap on this trailer is not only stylish, but it adds a level of durability to this trailer. And it has armor guard on the bottom half for protection from rocks and in any road debris that might be coming up. The trailer is standard with two 30 pound propane tanks. So you have 60 pounds of propane on here. And just behind that is two batteries. And this can be upgraded to a rack that can hold up to four six volt batteries. So that's always an option right back there. Uh, you notice there is a light there that's gonna light up the hitch area for hooking and unhooking. You can also see the six inch frame here too. Rugged, durable, um, electric jack right here on the front. This is an extra tall jack because you've got such great ground clearance on this trailer. It does have the bar that's gonna allow you to hook your chains and your plug up here when you're not using it. So they're not in the dirt, they're not getting dirty, they're out of the way. Great feature there. Now let's look at something else. There is what they call a mountain storage package that you can add. And what that includes is this toy lock right here where you can actually unlock it, pull it out, hook it around a generator, your bicycles, maybe anything else, maybe a solar panel that you wanna be sure is secured. Uh, bring it right back around and lock it in place. Just a great security measure. And the other feature in this is going to be the two inch receiver that we saw on the back of the trailer. Now the other side of this pass-through compartment right here is identical. However, you actually have inside on this front wall a compartment that will have the switches for raising and lowering the electric stabilizer jacks on this trailer. Great feature here, makes it very easy to set up your trailer. Once your trailer's level, just push those, put down those power stabilizers, you're good to go. Next to that, you will find the battery disconnect because if you're putting your trailer in storage, you'll wanna disconnect those batteries to be sure they're not drained over time. 
And of course, right next to that is the light so that you can always see what you're doing in here. There is a holder right up here on the left where you can put uh, some of the uh, handles here. You've got two handles. One of them is going to be for the manual override on your power jacks. The other one is going to be the manual override on the front electric jack if you ever need those. All right. Right here in front, underneath that, is a plug for the solar panels. You can plug in a portable solar panel, set it out in the sun, even if you're parked in the shade. It's an easy way to keep your batteries charged. But there is an option to add solar panels to the roof. You can add up to 510 watts of solar panel on this trailer. Now, Let's clarify, from the factory, you can get one panel that's 170 watt. You could get two panels that are 170 watt, and it can hold up to three, which will get you up to that 510. But the third one would need to be put on by the dealer. The factory only does one panel or two panels. There is an easy place to put them right on the front. If you decide you want a third one, Talk to your dealer about where that would go on the roof because there's different ideas on the best place to put that. And it is simply a matter of mounting the panel and plugging it in. Now that we're back around to the front, I think you've seen so many great features. This 20 foot awning is gonna make a great outdoor space. You've got 110 plugs right here for outdoor lights. Next to that, this is gonna be the fill for that 80 gallon fresh water tank, but for the most part, this is just a wonderful outdoor space. Let's show you how the awning works. Well now hopefully you know why this 26 KVS is such a good seller for Outdoors RV. So many great features here. I know I've missed something, so be sure to comment below. We'll try to answer all your questions. And in the meantime, subscribe to the channel so you see the next video coming out from Princess Craft RV. I'm PJ, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.